Hi, in this video we're going to talk a little bit more about Carol. So let's revisit Carol's world. First, you should know about the walls. So the walls are lines in the world that Carol can't move through. If Carol moves into a wall, Carol will crash. Another important part of the world to know is how we can identify the rows and columns. So the rows are also known as streets. They start at 1, and here you can see I've highlighted 5th Street. The columns are also known as the avenues. Here you can see I've highlighted 8th Avenue. Another important part is Carol's sense of direction. So when Carol's facing a different direction, the image for Carol will look a little bit different. So you can see what Carol looks like when facing north, east, south, or west. So, we'll often refer to Carol's left, Carol's right, or Carol's front. So here you can see, um, with Carol facing east, that, you know, where the front is, where the left is, and where the right is. And so if Carol's facing east, and we give Carol a turn left command, you'll see that Carol will rotate, and then end up turning north. Or if Carol's facing north, and then we give Carol a turn left command, Carol will end up facing west. So now it's time to write our second Carol program, where Carol starts in the world on the left and ends up in the world on the right, where we've created a square of tennis balls. So let's go write this. Okay, so now we're in our code editor. Remember, Carol moves actually in this world on the right, and this world on the left gives us a hint of what we want our ending world to look like. And down here, here's some helpful hints about the commands that Carol knows. So first, we want Carol to put down a ball, and then move, and then turn left. So let's see um, what happens when we run that. Often it's helpful to write a little bit of your programs and then run them and see where you're at. So, okay, we have a little bit of our program done. It looks like the next thing we need to do is put down another ball, and then move, and then turn left. So let's try running this. So we'll reset it, and then we'll click run. So Carol goes one by one through the commands. Okay. Let's see, what's next? We'll put down a ball, and then we'll move, and then we'll turn left. So let's run this. And as you can see, the commands are highlighting one by one. You might also notice that I have some spaces here, and if there's nothing on a line, Carol just ignores it. Okay, now we'll put down a ball, and then move, and then turn left. So let's reset and run this program. All right, that's it. We've now written our second program. And there's one other handy hint I'll show you. If we click reset, you can see this arrow. This lets us step forward. If you want to see Carol move one command at a time, you can click the step forward button. So that's pretty helpful to know. Alright, now it's your turn.